Hey guys, it's Cassie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a really special video. I'm gonna be doing a big, big Zoffel haul. This box may look kind of small, but there's 18 items in here. I don't know how they managed to fit them all in there. Just to let you guys all know, this is all first impressions. Since I've received the box, which was like two weeks ago, I haven't actually tried anything on. I've only um, like taken it out of the bag just to see how it looks like. Um, so let's hope it all fits on me, but I have a feeling some of them might not. Um, so fingers crossed. Let's go! First item is actually an accessory. Um, so I got this knotted bow thing and I just thought it was so adorable. It was, let's see, I'll tell you the price of it on the website. Originally when I got it, the price said it was like $275, but right now I'm checking on the website and it seems like the price has changed. It is now $5.51. Right off the bat, I really like the quality of it. Um, it fits my wrist pretty nicely and it's just like a nice little knot. I'm just gonna rate all these items to tell you guys kind of how I feel about it. Um, overall quality and, and, and style and fitting. So out of five, I'm gonna say this is a five. I really like this. The second item is another bracelet. So this one, is also like a cuff bracelet and it's like neatly packaged up like this. It has this marble kind of pattern on the triangle and when I put it on... I have a pretty small wrist too so I mean if it's perfectly for small this is how it looks like on. Quality and, and just like the feel of the material I would say this is also five out of five in my opinion okay let's get to the more exciting stuff now next we have this bodysuit oh god I have to tie this up myself okay be right back guys so very very sad news this very first piece that I was super excited to wear it has this like crisscross backless pattern on it on the website, it had great reviews, like literally four and a half stars out of five star reviews. I saw pictures of it, and it came not looking at all like what I was expecting. So it came with these, you see this is the back part of it? It's supposed to be strappy, right? But then these two strings came literally just undone. So if you look at, see if I pull this out, it is just a loose piece of string and then I thought okay cool maybe I just need to like put it together like I just need to somehow kind of do it up like a shoelace but then the problem is that it wouldn't make sense either because it's supposed to be anchored on the very bottom down here somewhere like it's supposed to show in the picture but there's, there are no holes to even loop it around on the bottom. So I honestly, I have no idea how I'm gonna wear this. I put it on that time too and it's way, way, way too short for my body. I'm gonna say this one is like a zero out of five. It's awful. Um, awful, it's awful, why? And this one has like a freaking Zoffel tag on it too. So you would think they would, you know, put a little more effort into this one. Oh. Um, but I mean the good thing about it is that like all of most of these Zoffel items they, they come in this um, translucent um, waterproof bag where you can kind of like put your bathing suit in or kind of reuse so I mean I guess I got a free bag the next item is a high-waisted skirt and it is like a light wash blue this is how the skirt looks like it um, is kind of frayed on the bottom and it's supposed to be high-waisted uh, so let's see if it fits me I've heard that Zoffel like they don't always have um, like when the pants come in they're not always like the buttonholes are not cut so you kind of have to cut it yourself which is what I'm currently doing right now and I mean it's not a big deal considering how cheap the clothes are so, let's see, let me button. Yeah, it buttons perfectly fine. I think this skirt is so cute. First impressions, it fits really well. It definitely sits right on my waist like it says it's supposed to. 
and the color and the fit quality definitely pretty good I think the length is pretty good too I don't find that it's too high all right guys so this next dress was the checkered one and everyone said that this dress fits on perfectly and I gotta say they were not wrong about that it fits really well so as you can see it um, kind of hugs my body it has stretch to it so this material is quite nice so if you were to move around in it sit down or like try and pull it up from the bottom it will stretch to accommodate your body um, you can see the back looks like this I feel like this dress is super cute it will look really nice paired with like a jean jacket or um, like a cute little hat, honestly anything is just so adorable. This one is a 5 out of 5. The only thing is just the material is because it's kind of harder. I bet if you wash this, it would probably feel kind of weird. Um, but overall, I really like it. So moving on, I've actually never had a, a cropped hoodie before. This one is actually kind of pricey, like it's $26.43. That's what it says on the website right now. The thing with Zoffel is that you can always find even more discounts and I feel like the, there's, I bought this during like the New Year's special so they did have a lot of things on sale. Um, but that's just the price I see right now on the website. So it looks like this. The material is a lot thinner than I expected. It looks a lot more red than burgundy. My biggest worry is the sleeves. I'm really worried the sleeves will be too short. Oh, yep, the sleeves are way too short. <laughs> Wow, these sleeves are really, really short. Why are they so short? I swear to God, guys, I'm like getting these things in bigger sizes too because Zoffel sizes are pretty, pretty weird. Let me try it on with the high-waisted skirt just to get a feel of if I like it or not. Just showing you how the crop top looks like with um, a little skirt, which is usually how I would pair it up. It would look really cute with some converse, you know, just something super casual that you would wear during spring. Okay, next one is $20.89 on the website, and it's this floral uh, one-piece romper. So this is the first way you can wear this romper-like thing. I would probably wear it like this just because um, when I just tie it at the front, it's a little bit low cut. But when I tie it at the back, it kind of makes this like wrap pattern, which is pretty nice. But I'll show you guys how it looks like at the front as well. It kind of look like this if you were to wear it up at the front. So you see how this part kind of opens up? I would have to like close it somehow. So if I were to rate this um, purchase, I would give it 4 out of 5. I think the texture and quality is pretty good. And you can't really see through. Actually, can you? it's doable you just have to wear like a beige underwear or something but the quality is pretty pretty nice and the fit is nice the only thing is this knot at the top so that was that'd be why I give it four out of five okay guys so this next one is um, $12.78 on the website and it's these pants right here they are really really cute they kind of frill out like this and it has this like little bow tie up here that kind of knots it together. The material feels super super silky like it feels like it's made of pretty good quality and I decided to like pair it up with this little lace top. I think this would look really really cute with some like black heels and it's got pockets so that's like a great oh sorry guys out of five i would give it a five like this is really cute i really like it this next one is 26 dollars and 10 cents on the website it's a skirt and it has this crisscross shoelace pattern on it with like a little cut that opens up it's a mini skirt and it is high waisted it's got a zip up on the side and this is a quick little 360 to show you guys. Yeah, this, this thing slipped on like perfectly. Like the material too is super soft. It almost feels like, it doesn't, it feels like, like a really smooth tablecloth. It's not like super high-waisted, but it's definitely enough to cover your tummy. 
Um, for me, it's just a tiny bit short because um, my legs are, I guess I'm taller, so that's why you can see how short it goes. So if I were to like bend down or honestly do anything other than standing, it would be very, very dangerous. I actually tucked in this purple tank top uh, into these shorts and I can't see through it. Like, it's pretty good when it comes to transparency. So I give this one 5 out of 5. And this black one is absolutely amazing too. Like, it just, it fits like a glove and, you know, it, it's got that nice, soft, slippery material. And the thing with both of these dresses is that they're actually a little bit stretchy too. So when you slip it on, you can feel it kind of form to the shape of your body, which I really like. The next purchase is a little bit different. This one is $15.33 on the website, and it's actually a set of makeup brushes. So this is how the makeup brushes look like, and in person, they're even more beautiful in my opinion. The tip looks like this. Maybe I'll do a review on these separately just on their own to see the quality of them because they were really cheap. They were only $15.33 on the website. So stay tuned, maybe I'll do a video on these. From what I see so far and from like the texture and the feel and the, of the quality of it, I would say five out of five. But then I'm not 100% certain because I haven't done, I haven't used them on my eyes yet. This next one here is the top. And this is actually a bodysuit, and I'm so happy that it fits. Like, I mean, it's still kind of barely fitting because it's definitely like kind of pulling up and giving me like a very, very slight wedgie. And this part is actually super low cut, so you have to make sure you wear something that really goes all the way down. Like, I have a stick on bra right now, and if I keep moving around, my stick on bra will kind of peep out of there, so I have to place that a little bit lower. But other than that, I'm glad a bodysuit finally fits me. Quality, it feels knitted. It's quite stretchy, at least this fabric. The lining itself, like the sides of the stitching, those aren't as stretchy, but you do have some pull. This one feels all right. It doesn't feel too steep of a cut. Definitely still makes your booty look bootylicious, but if you're expecting something that will kind of cup your two cheeks, this is not gonna be the one. Okay guys, so this next one I'm wearing is like a wrap up knit sweater and I have so many comments about this one. Like, first of all, when you receive it, it's gonna look like a scarf. It's half sleeve, so it goes up to here. If I do like a 360, it's like a wrap all the way around. But I literally have dinosaur hands right now, like I can't do anything to extend upwards or outwards. It really restricts your movement to only like this. Like this is all you can do. So I'm gonna take this off now and show you guys what I mean by it's complicated. This thing comes in one long gigantic piece like this with two um, little holes where you can put your hand through. How it actually, you're supposed to wear it is you put it behind you and then these two hands to make it a wrap, you have to cross them. So then you just cross them. Now that they're crossed, you use your right hand to put it into this hole. And then you use your left hand to put it into this one. And then pull the back down. So then it goes past your shoulders. And then pretty much just keep pulling it until it covers everything. And it's 100% not gonna cover everything. like. If I lift this part up, you can see like it's totally exposed. Like the only thing that's covering it up is this big wrap on this side. I just feel awful right now. Like I feel super restricted. I feel like like the moment I go like this, like oh my god, everyone's gonna see everything. And then I, how am I gonna fix my shirt? I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull everything back down fabric itself is pretty soft. I would give this one like a two just because for me personally, I don't think it's very wearable. Next thing I have is this tube top. It is 1074 on the website. It is a little bit thin, but my biggest worry was that the band around it wasn't going to be tight enough so it stays in place. But I, I mean, I feel super free right now. I don't feel like it's going to fall off anytime soon and it's, it has like a ribbed pattern on it. 
And I also got one in red and black. The good thing about them is that you can actually pull them pretty low. So if you don't like them sitting like so high waisted like this, you can actually pull it further down so that it just covers, um, so it covers most of this stuff up. How it looks like so this one is the black one and I paired it up with a vest just to see how it looks like all right guys so this one is um, an oversized uh, sweater when I put it on I already noticed like there's like a string coming out of it and there's also um, like just random things that are not connected to the shirt that's in it and I think I had something in my hair too but the smell of this Sweater just smells so bad. Like it just smells like it was made in a factory and it just smells really really crappy. But the material itself is actually quite soft, like it doesn't actually itch. And if you want to see the full length, it goes about this long. But I'd wear it like half halfway off my shoulder and so once you kind of wear it halfway off your shoulder, that makes it long enough to cover the rest of your arms. Um but overall, like if I'm gonna talk about the style and like the fit of it, it's pretty cute. Um, quality wise, it's all right. I just really don't like how it smells. So maybe I should just wash this and it'll be a little bit better. So this last one is $19.17 and it is this uh, mustard colored dress that I have on. So I decided to pair it with like a little jean jacket and a cute little summer hat. But as for the actual dress itself, it's pretty thin, um, but because of its color, you can't see through it. Uh, it's definitely super breezy, so you're going to have to go somewhere really, really hot. But the only thing I have to say that I don't like about this dress is how loose it is up here. In the picture itself, it looks like it's pretty well fitted, but then when you actually try it on, there's like places that just don't feel like it fits that well. I don't know if it's because I don't have enough boobage to fill out this area. These two areas, they kind of like stick out on the side, which is, in my opinion, really, really weird. Just gonna tuck it in like this. And then you can't really see it as much, which is totally fine. But I still really like the print and I like the color, so I would still wear this i would pair it up with like some sort of a jacket to maybe cover up these sides but i would give this one like a three out of five just because the fit was really really odd not it's not that it's not fixable but i just don't like having to do all these little things to make it look a little bit better so that pretty much concludes my whole softball try on um now i'm just going to talk about my whole shipping process and general thoughts about how I felt ordering all this. So the last time I ordered off Zoffel, I got a bunch of bikinis and those bikinis came at different times. So I would have like 10 different bikinis and then two would arrive one day and then one would arrive another. And it was kind of scary because you never really know if they're gonna show up at all. But then this time around, I feel like Zoffel has really improved their process. I don't know if it's because they're making more money now, but everything came in one gigantic box. This, actually this box isn't even that big. So everything came in this box, all 18 of the items I ordered, and they all came at once. So I really liked how I didn't have to go hunting down my items and figuring out which ones I have and which ones I don't. Shipping came super fast. I think it took me two weeks. The the only thing I have to say is if you're ordering from Canada, Vancouver, you're gonna be, ha you're gonna have to pay the duty fee. So I did have to pay a duty fee and it was $36.13. So that's pretty much the whole process of how I, um, how I got everything. Tracking the shipment was also really easy. The clothing wise, I think, let's say three items out of 18 didn't work that well for me but the rest of it like I really liked it like majority of them were five stars only some of them were like three stars or below and half of it really is just making sure that you know what you're picking like go out there do the research go look at hauls go look at how it looks like when people try it on and if there's 
an item that doesn't have any reviews on it like you have to be really careful like always read the reviews as for the sizing make sure you always go a size up or read the reviews and see if it's a true to fit or not because it's coming most of these items are coming from china and i guess people in china tend to be smaller and thinner and yeah uh, I hope you guys really liked this video. I had a lot of fun making it even though it took me two separate days to do it because the weather here has been awful. But if you guys liked more videos like this, then give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about any of the clothes that I tried on, you can always leave me a comment and I'll do my best to reply you and help you out with the whole thing. Okay, bye! See you guys next time!